more so about 10 to 20 mile per hour winds there. Along the Cajon Pass, we're seeing winds also right around 30, so it's pretty windy there. And then as we take you down to the Santa Ana Mountains, at the ridge top closer to 30, and then if you're traveling along the 10, you are going to hit some pretty gusty winds there traveling to or from the Palm Springs area where we are seeing this little area of purple. We're not seeing a whole lot of it out there, but we do have those wind speeds a little closer to 50. So we've been talking a little bit about fire danger with this. Not a whole lot of it, though. We've had some rain recently, and so that definitely helps us out. However, we are dealing with some dry conditions out there. We are dealing with some winds and with some warm temperatures. This is a nationwide test of the Emergency Alert System issued by the Federal Emergency Management Agency covering the United States from 2.20 to 2.40 p.m. Eastern Time. This is only a test. No action is required by the public. warming up as we head into the next few days, or at least through tomorrow, we'll start to cool off after that a bit, although it's still going to be pretty warm, not by a whole lot. And this is why we're going to see that ridge move on in as we get into tomorrow. And so we're going to see temperatures increase even a bit more. We're going to be getting up to about 93 degrees uh, there for downtown LA into tomorrow afternoon. Today, we are back into some low 90s for the IE. We're at about 91 degrees over to Lake Elsinore, 91 in Riverside, and then about 88 over into Temecula. So a lot of low 90s for the foothills, for the valleys, 